<laughs> hello lolas welcome back to my channel guys i know it's been a couple days but guys if you're new to this channel go ahead and make sure you subscribe make sure you click the bell so that you can be a part of the notification squad and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want to join the chatterbox it is a dollar and 99 cents the link is in the description bar um, you do have to be at least 18 years old in order to join that. However, watching this channel is free. Um, <laughs> so, you can definitely still follow me right here on the Gym Pop. And I'm looking for my other hand mitt. Oh my goodness, wait, what you do with your hand mitt? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I know for a lot of people, it is starting to get cold. It is, you know, you guys are already getting your babies warmed and cozied up and all that stuff. But unfortunately, in the in the dirty south, it is still like 80 degrees or so. So we're not quite there yet. So he is still getting to wear onesies and shorts and all that stuff without freezing his little hiney off. Um, again... I know a lot of YouTubers, we say this all the time, like, oh my God, we got so busy. Oh my God, we hadn't had a chance to do a video. Well, a lot of times it is true. I mean, we kind of, sometimes we forget, you know, people do have, you know, real life situations that they have to take care of outside of videos. Um, I will tell you guys some of the stuff that I've been doing while I've been away. I actually... Um, have been doing a lot of painting, like painting on my Reborns. And then, you know, um, I'm working on Nemo right now. Um, she is getting a few more coats of cut layers of paint. Um, this is what he's going to wear. It, I realize it has some little shorts on there. I'm not sure if I'll put the little shorts on, but yeah, it's got the little whale on the butt. One of my sis in the community hates these when they have the little stuff on the butt. But it doesn't bother me because I don't see it as much. And I was like, should I put him on this? Because I really liked him when he wore this. But then I saw this and I'm like, eh. Ah. So I'm not sure. I think I'm going to put him on this. I got him his little booties or whatever. But anyway, so yeah, so I've been painting on Nima. Um, she has like, I think I'm going to do one more layer front and back and then she's going to get mad at Um, so, um, been excited about that. Just, you know, cause you guys knew I was just complaining about how I wasn't completely satisfied with her. And, you know, I think when you're painting, you kind of, sometimes it just depends on what your expectations is for yourself. If you'll ever really completely be satisfied um, you, when I paint, I hold myself to a very high standard, whether I reach that standard or not, I do because the dolls that I collect are very well done by other artists. And so, um, I'm always critiquing myself against their work and that it's probably not that fair to me, but you know, guess what? I think over time it will only make me get better. Oh my goodness, look at those wrinkles. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, have you noticed every everybody now when they do their videos and they, they have the silicone babies, they go, and it has that memory foam silicone. Okay, I'm, I'm a pain in the butt because I absolutely hate when they say, and the memory foam. Because, you know, never mind. Never mind. But <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. They, everybody says that now. It's like memory foam. It's like memory foam. Well, um, Noah is not like memory foam, just for the record. Um, he is just really soft and he has a very nice feel. He's not a spongy silicone. He He's very soft. But he's not leaving me 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 foam. Okay, okay, let me stop. I don't, I don't need to. That's why I need not to do videos, probably. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing that. I am, I, I am 
getting closer to Jalen's hair being finished rooting. Um, of course, Jalen is at a professional rooter. Uh, as you guys know, I don't mess up my baby's edges. <laughs> I am going to learn, though. I did buy my needles. I do have plenty of hair here to um, to root. I am practicing on my micro preemie. Well, it's Gabby's micro preemie now, baby Serena. So I just have, I haven't had a chance to even get back to that. I just have so much going on, like the rest of you probably. And I looked up and I was like, oh my God, I haven't did a video in like five days. <laughs> so I was like, shoot. I was like, I need to go check on my, my, um, my people and check in. So I did send a message to my chatter chatter queens, the chatterbox, and because um, I guarantee one live stream a month with the um, chatterbox, but you know everybody in the chatterbox knows that I've did quite a bit more than that. Well, we've done two live streams, I believe, and we've also um, I did drop. A video or two over there so you know I'm I'm I do the very minimum so that I don't disappoint I do what I know I can definitely deliver and if I can deliver more that's what I do so for those that might be like I'm not paying $1.99 for one live stream you know but you know what people super chat me more than that um, during my live streams on the gym pop so and I'm definitely coming back to do a live stream on the Gym Pop very soon. I'm just trying to get the time where I can, you know, be focused. I don't want to come with low energy. You know what I mean? I hate when I do a live stream and it just is like, uh, I don't want to do that to you guys. This is too big. This onesie is too big. Let me show you guys. Oh. Now I remember why. It's just hanging up in the closet. This is a, this is a three month, but it's too big. Look, I mean, he can fit it because, you know, when they're full body silicone, they can fit it because, I mean, if it's some of his, you know, chest shows, that's fine. But, I mean, it's kind of like just baggy. So... But, I'll put it on him anyway. My alarm is going off because I sat here for about 15 minutes just sitting here going, do a video on what? Because <laughs> I was thinking like I want to do a video, but I was like, what am I going to talk about? I really don't, I'm not up on the latest gossip um, right now. Um, I don't think much is going on. I think people have... You know, talked about each other to the end to they have no more to talk about. So I don't see a lot of that going on right now. Um, oh my God, he's just so stinking cute. I hate to put anything else on him. Um, let's just put his little booties on. I mean, I could put his shorts on, but... I mean, do he really need his shorts on? Oh my goodness. Look at you. <laughs> I am so in love with him. I love my Puck. I mean, when one of my friends was talking about this. Puck is still like my... He's kind of like still my number one offline. But he's not my number one for holding. Like, I... Puck, I just like to look at him. I I really do. I like to look at him. Mm, sorry. One of these little prickly things. I like to look at him. I like to dress him. I like to take photographs of him. Um, I do like holding him. Like it's not like I don't like to hold him. But he if I had to pick who I was gonna hold between him and Noah, of course I'm gonna hold Noah. Um the soft silicone is just it just gives you that real, real baby feel. So, I, I won't lie. I will hold Noah over Puck in, you know, a lot of times. But Puck is beautiful. 
Puck is beautiful. It don't matter what light you put him in. He is absolutely beautiful. And so I really, really, really love the the um skin tone that um Claire did on on Puck. And you know, it's almost like she did less on him. But less was more, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I really, I really, 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 really love, love his painting. Um, Puck's painting. And, of course, his sculpt is really nice as well, you know. Um, definitely have to give credit where credit is due. But, um, this boy, sculpting is just amazing. So I've been talking to a couple of couple of the mommies that you know got the blanks and they are really excited and it's you know that's the thing I love. I love to see like box openings of mommies that's it's their first time getting a reborn or their first time getting a silicone or their first time getting a full body or first time getting a partial. I just love first time videos because the reaction is so organic it's like it's genuine like it's just you can just tell the energy and it's just so fun to see somebody experience something for the first time that they're really excited about it just it's really nice I really really um love to hear about people when they get their first you know even if it's from the first time they get from a specific artist because I mean I remember my first time you know experiencing this or that and no other time beats that moment like, you know, the first time I ever got, you know, a silicone, partial silicone, I mean, I was just blown away. Then the first time I ever got my first full body, that experience was really like damaged. Um, just the interaction, the transaction just was rough, you know, right before the delivery. And I was kind of excited but I hated the doll really I tried to like it but it just the proportions was way off it was just not good I mean you know it, I just I did not like it it had more boo-boos than I was expecting and it was just a lot with that one and so I didn't really get that full feeling but I think when I got the first one after that I was really excited and then, you know, so on and so forth. And then when I got my first Claire Teller baby, I was like blown, which was Zoe. And then, um, I don't know. I just, you know, every time I experience something new, my first ethnic baby, my first baby directly from Claire. And I kind of have gotten spoiled to that. And that's, you know, that's a thing for me is buying second market um i'm really gonna have to next year if i want to get a new baby new full body silicone i'm really gonna have to do some soul searching about this second market thing because i've bought my babies directly from claire for so long now and um i don't even really know what what's out you know how it works with second market these days um that's a whole nother video in itself but i am i do realize that that's probably going to be my only option if i want to ever explore a new full body but it is quite the experience to get the baby directly from her um that experience is just amazing and it comes with that reassurance that you know if anything goes wrong you know, you, you got that, you know, that, that backup plan, you know, you can contact her or, you know, whatever, but you know, that's with any artist, I suppose, but you know, second market sometimes is higher, you know, that's, that's one thing. And then second market is sometimes just as high, you know, but second market sometimes is the only way you can get a particular sculpt because it's so loud. Or second market can be lower, significantly lower. So, um, 
something that I have to consider. Um, guys, I'm going to end this video here, but um, that's something maybe we should talk about. Like, when I do my next um, live stream, maybe we'll talk about what you guys are, how you guys are feeling and what's been your experience so far in second market. Because I, I really need to get more information on what's out there. You know, what to, to look for, what to be careful of, you know. Who's selling, you know, quality dolls on second market and who's, who's not, you know. Um, I do know there is a particular group that is, um, that's out there that, you know, they pretty much circulate a lot of dolls through that group. Um... But I'm not a part of that group. Um, so, but other than that, I really, you know, I see posts and everything. But I'm just, I guess, like I said, another video, another time. Guys, thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you the next time. We will see you the next time, right? All right, guys. Get your merch.